I bet you thought I was done with these. Not by a long shot. All right, let's get this thing. Now you all already know what it is, so I'm not gonna pretend like you don't know what it is, but I will say I'm pleasantly surprised and excited about this because this first book, Beyond the Moons, of this uh, sextet was so much better than I expected it to be. Now I'm kind of excited to see where the story goes. Now I'm going to be reading these uh, in between other types of books, so it may be a little while before I get to this. But the first novel, between the, uh, Beyond the Moons, was about Dragonlance. The second one takes it from Kryn to Farron, I think, is the world for Forgotten Realms. I'm not 100% into Forgotten Realms, so I'm not really sure. But here's what it says. From the publishers of the Dragonlance Saga, Into the Void. Plugged into a sea of alien faces, Telden Moore isn't sure whom to trust. His gnomish Sidewheeler is attached by... I'm sorry. Yeah, Sidewheeler is attacked by space pirates, and Telden is saved by a hideous mind flare who offers to help the human use his magical cloak, but for whose gain? Telden learns the basics of spell jamming, and he seeks an ancient arcane, one who might tell him more. Into the Void, set in Forgotten Realms' fantasy world, ooh, is the unable to read because the words are, is the second book of the Cloakmaster cycle for Spelljammer, space fantasy novels from TSR. So that's Telden. That's the mind flare that helps him. I wonder who this big blue head guy is. This is by Nigel Findlay. I'm not, I'm not familiar with him. But uh, yeah, you can see at this point they already started like mapping out the different books for this Cloakmaster cycle. Do you guys know where this is? Raven or Rothhaven? Routhaven? It's got to be Forgotten Realms, right? I don't know. I've, I've done a few Forgotten Realms uh, campaigns back in 2nd edition, I think it was. But uh don't really know much else about it other than the artwork, which I always kind of liked. This is another setting that I've played once, Dark Sun, that was really, really great artwork. Braum, the artist, was just amazing with that stuff in this surprisingly great book. All right, so that is it. Um, all the words seem to be there. <laughs> that is going to be do it for this Mail Time uh, episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have you read these Spelljammer books? If so, what do you think about them? I'm going to be giving you reviews if you want them. Have a great day, everyone. And until next time, Slanjavar.